What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Twitch or Glitch RGB split effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Okay, so as you can see I have Vegas Pro 14 opened and this is a clip from my horror movie when I'm at a tree just sitting there. And I've already split it to the part where I want this effect to happen and it's this part right here in the middle. The way you split, you press S on your keyboard on either side. The next thing you want to do is come to the project properties and you want to come to where it says stereoscopic 3D mode and you want to select the one that says red and cyan and then select apply and OK. Now we're working with this middle clip so we're going to come to video effects, we're going to come all the way down until we see stereoscopic 3D adjust and drag and drop this on that middle clip. We're going to press this animate button and now we're just going to find a part where we want this effect to happen. So I'm going to do it right there and I'm going to bump this a lot like that. Then I'm going to come across two keyframes, I'm going to bring it down a bit going to come across another two and I'm going to put it into the minuses right there and then I'm going to come across another two and I'm just going to put this back to zero. So it gives us this like a uh, curve down and then back up effect just like that. That's what it should look like. So let's play this through. Just like that. That is how simple it is. As you can see mine was pretty quick and the reason for that is because these are so close together if you spread them out like I'll do right now you will see the effect will be lasting longer so let's play this one through now just like that and of course it does depend how long your clip is uh, the longer the clip the more the longer this effect can last of course this part here is only one second so we've managed to fit that in and it still looks pretty nice and it's really easy to do. Now another thing I'm going to show you, you'll notice when we change the project properties the colour on the video actually went a bit. So we're going to come back to video effects and we're going to select saturation adjust. From there just drag on the default and now I'm going to put the amount all the way up. I'm going to put the low all the way up along with the high all the way up. Now as you'll see we got the colour back in the video and it looks better. And a warning, you will need to do the saturation for all of them because as you can see they really just lost all the color. So come back to this one and this saturation we made you can come to preset and call this color or something. I'm going to put that, press the save preset. Now when you come to saturation adjust again as you can see it's going to be saved here so I'm going to drag it this on and it's so much more quicker because now the color is back in all the videos here. And that is how easy it is to do. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.